the leader of the opposition made mention to the Hiranoa International Airport. I would like to speak a little bit on that. In his statement, the leader of the opposition said that it is difficult to imagine how a government can forego an offer by the World Bank to seek finance, monitor, manage the construction of Hiranoa Airport without one additional cent of loan funds, but the government will instead choose to redevelop the airport through a loan that will increase the national debt by $150 million. I want to say that this is very much inaccurate. I want to explain to St. Lucians in a nutshell what was the proposal of the Labour Party administration in the construction or the renovation of the Hiranoa International Airport. The agreement that the Labour Party wanted to enter into for the, for the airport was that, one, they would have increased, and I think that increase was done because it was a cabinet conclusion, they would have increased the airport tax from 25 to $60. The agreement that they would have entered into with the developer was that this was a private entity. The airport would have been given over to that private entity to run, to operate, and to own for 30 years. So all incomes and everything that is happening at the airport would not be under the management of the government of St. Lucia, but it would be under the management of that private entity for 30 years. And if we do a calculation, the $60 that they would have increased the airport de departure tax to was going directly to the developer. And that is why they said it was not going to be a loan. It would not be on our books. But the revenue that was being generated as tourists arrived, it would have gone directly to the developer for 30 years. If you do a rough calculation of $60 by 30 years, and we have an average of 500,000 people coming through in and out of the airport. For 30 years, that would have amounted to an estimated amount of $900 million. That is the amount of money that St. Lucia would have foregone in the deal that the Labour Party was negotiating for the airport um, redevelopment project. When we came into office, we said there's no way that we will forego all that revenue to a private entity and to give over our airport for 30 years. And I understand that the Labour Party is always against privatization and giving private entity, but here we were, giving our airport away to a private entity for 30 years. And so the negotiations that this government has gone into is that, as we said, we've negotiated with the Taiwanese government for a loan of 150 million US dollars. $100 million will go to the airport development project. That's US dollars. We've increased the, the tax from 25 to $98. And so in essence, to give you a breakdown of that money, $25 goes to SLASPA. $35 of that departure tax goes towards the repayment of the loan. And so I want to say to St. Lucia, that airport project is not going to be an additional loan on the backs of St. Lucia. It's going to be on the tourists as they arrive. They are the ones who will be paying for that airport, not St. Lucians. And the balance of the money is going towards the highway project and the cruise ship, the development of our cruise ship port terminal. And so these are revenues that we are generating through the airport, not through taxes, not through the backs of St. Lucia. The loan that we have negotiated with the Taiwanese government we have a f is for 15 years. The first five years, we have a moratorium on it, and that we will begin to pay after five years at an interest rate of 5%. This is a good deal for St. Lucia. We believe that it is the best that we could negotiate at this time in, in, instead of giving away our effort to be managed for 30 years by a private entity. And so when the, 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 the leader of the opposition says that it was not going to be one cent, how much money were we foregoing? How could we have considered foregone revenue of approximately $900 million for 30 years? Would it take 30 years to pay back for the redevelopment of the project? Our estimation was that it would cost an, an average of about $400 million for the entire project. And so the developer would have made double the amount. 
we don't think that it was fair.